Hello, so this is my second time recording this journal because I didn't have any sound the first time, so hopefully the, this goes better. Um, so for journal number 11, I decided to focus on the question, look up the psalm and image. Um, what assumptions does it make about Jesus's identity? Can you discern an artistic intention in both the image and how Morgan describes its history? And what does its popularity say about race and Christianity in the United States? So um, my thoughts on this is, are, I feel like are all over the place. So hopefully I can get my point across without sounding like an idiot. So um, starting off the Solomon image, when you look at it, it is a picture of Jesus Christ that is in, in no way accurate to what the actual Jesus Christ would have looked like. He, uh, so the Solomon image is a white dude, first of all, with blonde hair and blue eyes. When we know that Jesus um you know, uh, ge geographically speaking, historically speaking, he was m Middle Eastern, which means he would have had brown skin, dark eyes, dark hair, and he would have, I mean, he was not, he was not European at all. He wasn't American. He wasn't, I mean, American isn't really, I mean, American is mostly white, so I, that's why I say that. But anyways, anyways, he was not European. He was, he was Middle Eastern. So first of all, it, it portrays Jesus as white obviously you know and that's not accurate so moving on to uh artistically why he was portrayed like that and historically why he was portrayed like that um it said in the morgan article that he, he was made to be non uh, sectarian which basically means not um related to any denomination so it was so it could so this image of jesus christ was widely accepted by Catholics and um, Christians and um, Protestants alike, and also he like he was seen as the this was the savior, and Jewish people seen him as the Christian savior. Um, and additionally, it talks about how um, this portrait of Jesus was given a soft demeanor, um, the way he's looking up into heaven, his soft features, his his long hair. You know, like he it's a soft aura, I guess. Um, and it made him, it portrayed him as a uh, devout uh, savior. It was, so this was, for many people, Jesus Christ. This is who he was, what he was, and this is what he looked like. And even to this day, that's, I think a lot of people still view him the as the Solomon image. Like, that's still how he's portrayed. I mean, for the longest time, that's what my image of Jesus Christ was. That's what I saw in my preschool, that's what I saw. I had like this picture of Jesus hanging up and I was like, I was amazed that he had long hair. I'm getting a little off topic, but anyways, yeah. So that's what Jesus Christ looks like for many people if they don't know the true history, I guess, behind Jesus. Anyways, so um, uh, historically speaking, um, this image was, I, I believe, created from my understanding around World War II. And during this time, um, like the need for a religion was very strong. So basically, uh, World War II intensified the flames of Christian religion and national uh, fervor. I think that's how you say that word. Um, and so Solomon's portrayal of Jesus then became an emblem of uh, national Christianity, which was a generic religion that served during this period of a national crisis to um, essentially evoke the um, religious aspects of hearth and home and, patriot and, pa and patriotism. Um, so, uh, so thinking of that, along with another part of in the article where it talks about um, how President Eisenhower in his uh, inauguration talked about um, the belief in a supreme being and how it is the first and the most basic expression of Americanism. And he says that without God, there could be no American form of government, nor an American way of life. So, and although he's not particular, it doesn't matter the particular supreme being, just that you believe that one believes in one, that's what's important, but it, it is, uh, heavily suggested that God is the, the supreme being. So Protestantism, um, Catholicism and Judaism, Christianity, 
um, all that that would what is cost constitutes the way of life for Americans. So, uh, so basically, um, this American way of life, this life for Americans is Christian and it looks like the Solomon image. It looks like a white man. This is the portrayal of Jesus and this is what his followers look like. And so, um, so uh, addressing the last question, um, what does this popularity say about race and Christianity in the United States? Thinking about everything I just said about its like historical aspects, um, it, like I said, it created this idea that G- this is what Jesus looked like, and this is what you have to look like to be American and to be Christian. Um, yeah, and I think even today there's still this um, idea that you have to be like the ideal American is a white Christian, you know, patriot, you know, who loves their country and who loves, who's a devout religious Christian person that, I don't know. I just, that's when I think, when I honestly think of America, that's who I think of. I think of a white Christian person, man, really. Um, but yeah, so this, I, I don't know. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Um, let me just look at the question real quick. Yeah. What does this popularity say about race and Christianity in the United States? It just says, the Solomon's image says, this is what Christianity looks like. And this is what America looks like.